Traditionally, sheet creation and layout have been a very manual and time-consuming process. To overcome this, the drawing boundary feature is provided to allow you to quickly and easily define the location of a drawing on a sheet which may contain a drawing. A sheet may be subdivided into several drawing boundaries. Here we are inside of MicroStation and we have the details DGM file open. This can be found in the 09 Composing Sheets folder. As you can see, this detail sheet contains several details. Three additional curtain wall details need to be added to complete the sheet. So to begin, we'll set the active level to G Anno Drawing Boundary. From the ribbon, we'll pick the Drawing Boundary tool. And let's set the following options in the Tool Settings window. For the Detailing Symbol Style, this will be Default. We'll give this the name Detail-4. The drawing type will be Detail. The detail scale will be full size, 1 to 1. And we'll select the method by two points. Coming into the view, we're going to issue a data point to define the first corner of the drawing boundary by snapping to the intersecting lines in the lower left corner of the upper left detail section, directly below where the column enclosure detail is located. Next, we'll define the second corner of the drawing boundary by snapping to the intersecting lines in the lower right of this same section. Then, we'll place a detail symbol by issuing a data point in the middle of this section, along the bottom. So here, we have designated a specific area on the sheet that can be populated by a name boundary. We will now place two additional drawing boundaries into the remaining open sections. With the Place Drawing Boundary by Two Points tool still active, take note in the Tool Settings window that the name has automatically and conveniently incremented to Detail 5. Following the previous steps, we're going to place drawing boundaries into each of the remaining open sections by first snapping to the upper left corner, then to the lower right corner, and then placing the symbol along the bottom center in each of these remaining detail sections. Take note, these drawing boundaries were placed into this DGN file. These areas will be populated in the next exercise. However, it is important to note that it is more advantageous to create drawing boundaries in seed files and or design libraries. That is, of course, dependent on your organization or company setup. This would allow the drawing boundaries to be standardized and available in any sheet. During this lesson, you learned how to predefine an area in an existing sheet model for placement of name boundaries. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.